What's up guys, not Super Mario here and welcome to today's video. It is time for yet another review because I watched another movie yesterday, A Private War. But before I do my review, I have to say, if you wanna see Q&A to happen, leave your questions in the comments down below because I, if I don't have any questions, I cannot do any answers. So do that. And of course, or, or all the usual stuff, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video all over the place, and click that bell icon to get notified when I upload. Now, to the review. A Private War is a movie directed by Matthew Heinemann, uh, starring Rosamund Pike, Jamie Dornan, Stanley Tucci, Tom Hollander, and many, many more. And it is about a very well-celebrated and achieved war correspondent, Mary Colvin, played by one and only Rosamund Pike. And to be completely honest, I didn't know anything anything about this person. Didn't know who she was, what, what was she doing. And when you don't know anything about a person, the expectations are low. Because if you don't know what, what the person was doing, you're like, okay, that's how it went. So low expectations. And I think that was really good because I did enjoy the movie. There were some bigger problems in the middle that I'm gonna explain a little bit later, but let's start with the big thing. Rosamund Pike as Mary Colvin is unbelievable, incredible. She is raw, her performance is real. I mean, she even deepened her voice uh, to match to Mary Colvin because you have some real footage at the end and you can see, oh my gosh, the, how well acted this movie is, especially from her side. I mean, Rosamund Pike, I loved her in Gone Girl. She's always awesome, but this performance, in my opinion, she should be in contention for Oscar. She's not, she was nominated for Golden Globe, but maybe she should be in contention also for Oscar. It was awesome to see Jamie Dornan in a really good movie because I still think he's an awesome actor, but Fifty Shades franchise didn't do him any favor. I think he did a really good job as a photographer, war photographer, and he was compelling the way he tried to help Mary Colwyn, Rosamund Pike's character with all the PTSD stuff and everything. I think he did a really, really good job. All the other characters, were kind of useless. You've got Jamie Dornan and Rosamund Pike who are the main focus. Everybody else is kind of there because they have to be there and you just, you need more characters, but didn't have anything bigger to do. So at times, especially like Stanley Tucci's character, okay, he's in it and, she was, uh, and he was uh, a part of Mary Colvin's life but uh, didn't add anything to the story. So that's kind of a problem in my opinion. Director Matthew Heinemann, I think did a really good job. Uh, the movie is really well shot. Uh, the war scenes are amazing. It is tension, it is brutal, it is real. You feel every inch of war. And I really like that they didn't scare away from the reality in of conditions that people were living in at that time in Syria, Libya, Afghanistan, Iraq, all the places they shown in this movie. I think it is great that people see how awful war is and how awful the conditions are in war. Like what people that women and children and men, of course, that are running away from this stuff, how tough it is for them like it was at times it was really hard to watch because it was so compelling and so tough and when Mary Colvin Rosamund Pike's character is trying to do everything to help them to show the world what is actually happening it, it, it is really really tough to watch biggest complaint beside useless characters is the movie somewhere in the middle lost me. It starts really well and it ends on a bang. I mean, if you don't know the story, spoiler alert, Mary Colvin dies and it's sad. It's sad because what was she trying to do and everything, but somewhere in the middle, the movie lost me just because it was trying to do too much stuff at once. It, I felt like it couldn't decide, is this a war movie? Is this a movie about Mary Colvin's life and everything? How she struggles with what she's seen and PTSD stuff? Is this 
only her struggles with uh, like journalism and how to present all this stuff. It was like all over the place and I was like, okay, so they are trying to show this, the struggles. Now they're showing the war. Now it's very jumpy and very choppy. And I was like, okay, where is this gonna pick up? And like somewhere in the third quarter, it finally picks up again and finds its focus. And then when it, then it is when, then it's the time when the movie like really shines in my opinion. So of course, The Great. I really enjoy this movie even with the problems in the middle and with all the useless characters that I think were in this movie. I still think this movie is a must watch. It's very needed. I don't think that it glorifies war. It shows all the ways how people are dealing with this stuff, how people in war zones journalists, uh, of course, the army and all the people that are affected by this. I think it was a really nice representation of how all those stuff works. And I know it can be as real as it is, but in real world, but it is a movie and I think it did a really good job. I still think this movie is really good and I give it 7.4. Yes. So it is Good, not as good as many other similar movies, but still really, really enjoyable. So that's it for my review for A Private War. Like I said, I recommend this movie because I think it's good. Rosamund Pike shines in this movie. If you don't like war movies, just watch because of her. And Jamie Dornan is good. Jamie Dornan is good. So yeah, this is gonna be it. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, hit that subscribe button, share this video all over the place, click that bell icon to get notified when I upload, and I'll see you next time. Bye!